Yeah, I leave the floor to, to uh, I'm very happy to leave the floor. Unfortunately, uh, Dr. Jana Kollar could not, could not be with us uh, here. So uh, Aden, Aden Ozdic will be, will be talking to us about, uh, about uh, Cherry Eric, which is an, an integrated multidisciplinary and, and multiprobe uh, research infrastructure open to all of us for, for, for access to do uh, research. Okay, thank you. Well, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Adn Hodzic. As uh, uh, we said, that's all. I'm sorry that Jana Kolar cannot be here. She's more beautiful than me, but I will bother in you for the next 15 minutes. Um, I will talk about Central European Research Infrastructure Consortium, uh, which we started uh, to run uh, on the base of nanoanalytics, uh, and I'm responsible for, let's say, technology transfer coordination in the consortia, uh, trying to bind all of uh, these um, uh, gap between, uh, let's say, basic science or science and, and industry. As we talked in the beginning about this, uh, so how important is to change, let's say, uh, not mind of scientists, but to change uh, topic and direction, how, what is important today, how to bind these two fields. I personally was in, uh, I was in the academia, uh, making uh, science and 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 uh, uh, started with basic science and was always interested on the scientific applications uh, to see praxis of it and I moved to industry and I saw both uh, let's say fields and I find myself in between so I think uh, this is like bridging something in this direction and here you can see at least logos of um, these countries, uh, uh, partner facilities in the countries. Oh, thank you, thank you. You can see the um, uh, our part, our our laboratories of the partner facilities in our countries. Uh, we choose laboratories, uh, partner facilities which could fit the best uh, together in these nanoanalytics of uh, multi techniques approach for uh, scientific users uh, and. Uh, uh, so we, I will present them all, uh, all laboratories by uh, single single slide. Uh, the idea is, uh, let's say, behind not to have just uh, one uh, proposal for one methodology, but to have uh, you have you can you can uh, solve problems, especially for industry for applicative research with multi technique. If I want to solve a pro problem, I uh, I have more information if I can combine. <clears throat> nanoanalytics and if I can go for uh, more information at the same time. So one proposal, more techniques will uh, can be provided for to our users and then afterwards we watch how to uh, motivate users to do applied science, to recognize the potentiality of it and to try to make knowledge of technology transfer. Um, I will drive you to this uh, general points of uh, my presentation, let's say general about Sari Karik, as I told you before, also Central European Research, Research Infrastructure Consortium, about partners and facilities, uh, generally about uh, uh, industrial liaison in the consortia and possibilities of technology transfer. Everything starts with science somehow, so scientific industrial applications are always one topic and importance uh, for us and for all of us. And in the end, some of conclusions, how we see the future or the aims, what is the best way to try to build a platform with different regions and countries, starting from uh, APIs, NDAs for different uh, uh, countries that they have different laws, which is not that easy. So we have also bureaucratical approaches if we involve uh, technology transfer in the countries that you have different laws for patenting, different laws for NDAs, and also wishes from, <coughs> I'm sorry, wishes from uh, industrial, uh, different wishes from industrial partners. So we go here to uh, general about Seri Karik, partner facilities. As you see, as we are now by nine countries, starting from Austria, Croatia, Czech Republic, Hungary, Italy, Poland, Romania, Serbia, and Slovenia. But we are still open for another countries. Uh, they should, in the beginning, fit in the, let's say, Central European 
region, but uh, it's still very, 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 very open, open uh, door for everything in the future that we have to define. So we have political scope as to support excellent research in the field of nano level. Uh, and we have also uh, built competence in the Central European region. So we have different areas in the, in the consortia dealing with users, dealing with um, communication, and also dealing with the industry and technology transfer. As I told you before, so my, my topic is technology transfer. And um, the consortia has the seed for five years in Trieste which could be changed, but could be also prolonged in the same seat. So it's always evaluation after, after, after five years and then has to be decided but by some commissions. Um, I move to, to this geographic uh, page, which I like. It's looking like a butterfly. Let's see how is the, the future going, also which countries will join there. Uh, and uh, we can see here that we have Central Europe, uh, which were which very excited area and much difference inside which we try to homo, uh, so to make homogen uh, homogeneous let's say uh, to build a platform especially for knowledge transfer in all area uh, to have some unique basis in, in, as I told you in in, in in all all needed rules by industrialism knowledge and technology transfer so starting from apis ndas and all confidentiality contracts and flexibility for industry. Interesting is also to say what is important to industry if we bind industry and science. Industry is always caring about money. So money is the god. And uh, if we have quality in some countries that we have lower prices, we could be also interesting for industry from another countries that they are very developed. And um, also, this is uh, this is an, one important thing. But of course, it's not only one topic. Uh, so we go for uh, funding, structural fundings, to make uh, to try to make this area very homogeneous, and not to be, um, let's say, not to be so different spread it in Europe uh, between East and and Western European countries. So here we have um, first partner. Uh, of partner facility, Italy, Electra, Synchrotron. Uh, to be clear, so all of these partners has own units for uh, technology transfer and working very independently, uh, independent, independent for all of, for all of, from all of us, uh, having developed uh, teams and, 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 and rules. Uh, but the problem is that some of them have more and some of them have less development. And uh, we try to make, uh, to exchange also these knowledge of experience, how to develop another, another less developed countries in, 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 in this direction, because not all partner facilities have, for example, even technology transfer units inside of consortia. Some of them uh, bind these with the project office, some of them with the communi communication office. So um, we start here where is most developed, let's say, at least in the consortia that we have. Synchrotron Trieste, I think it's known for everybody here, and uh, we are there uh, also, as a statutory seat, let's say, in the same house. And uh, hopefully we can coordinate uh, all together in, 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 in one unit in the future, at least in the consortia. The, another partner is Austria the country where I was uh, uh, making my edu education and part of my life. Um, they have um, uh, technical, or let's say, Graz University of Technology. Uh, in German, they say technical university. That's why TU, Graz. And um, they have one beam line in Elettra, small English X-ray scattering. But at the same time, they use laboratory in the university. and. The question is why is this uh, important to have also laboratories? Different aspects. So if you deal with industry, not every day you can have, let's say, uh, a beam line or synchrotron, which is much more resolution, much better, but it's also much more expensive. And uh, if you just want to have some product quality control or whatever you're developing there, you have to, uh, sometimes laboratory can help you very well, because every day you can go to laboratory to check uh, everything what you want 
uh, in this topic. So let's say in this way, uh, different needs, flexibility, and different needs from industry, we have to answer with different um, equipment, laboratories, organization, and, and, and different know-how. Uh, that's why uh, we try to combine everything what we think it makes sense. Laboratory, synchrotron, multi-techniques, etc., etc. Everything what is in nano-analytic. Um, the, another partner is Czech Republic. So it's fitting good to this, uh, to this um, uh, uh, picture that I show you of the countries. Now we've gone to Czech Republic, which also have the same, almost a similar situation like Austria, Graz. They, they are dealing with a synchrotron with a beamline here in Trieste and combining uh, also laboratory of Prague, Charles University, uh, and also, uh, dealing with surface science, material science, uh, all of these techniques that uh, you try to present outside to industrial world and to see which common projects could be could be done there. Again, <coughs> let's say the bigger uh, bigger uh, laboratories like Synchrotron, they can be used very well. We hope for the R and D projects. So that means long term projects and laboratories, small small equipment and laboratories which is less resolution, so less uh, potential for uh, longer, I mean, you can go for long term, but it's uh, less resolution and means they are flexible, this is more direction, quality controls, etc., etc., and they are used to maybe smaller service projects. So, trying to be flexible in both sides. Hungary uh, is uh, also the partner, as you can fit in the, uh, the the map of the countries. And we have there uh, just uh, in Neutron Center, also doing with small angle scattering, but not X-ray. It's uh, using neutrons, so small angle neutron scattering. Um, very, very well to combine with uh, different uh, aims of, of studies, let's say, if I want to study proteins for some biological applications, I can use very well deuterium and go for neutrons and combine with X-ray. So in general, these combinations, uh, as I told you in the beginning, you need it uh, to get to, 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 to crystallize more information on the topic and to be able more to apply uh, more knowledge on, on, on any, any topic that you, that you are studying. Again, here, we have a discussion in Europe, let's say, between synchrotrons. And this discussion, for example, with neutron source in the ILL, uh, is also between colleagues. And we say, yes, ALL or ILL has 10 times longer, uh, more, more uh, resolution than, than being seen in Budapest. And uh, of course, for such kind of science that need these, it's it's ILL uh, the, the the tool of the of the of the of the choice. But if you have companies that would like to develop some biological stuff or whatever, and they have a lower budget, and you 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 are not going to the high platform, you, you can go to Budapest, which is ten times less resolution but ten times cheaper. So let's say we have plus and minus uh, properties of all instrumentations, what we uh, combine together. And uh, the aim is to extract the most uh, uh, useful uh, ideas for all of these structure and to try to in involve it in uh, future projects regarding to scientific applications. Here we have Romania also with the uh, TEM laboratory, electron microscopy. Again, a um, very, very knowledge team, also doing with electron spin resonance. Uh, very knowledge people, very knowledge team. And um, uh, this is again a uh, question of budgets, question of projects. You can involve people with high applicative knowledge in some budgets of companies from and other countries that can uh, have uh, very excellent results for lower budget 
than, 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 than in our own country. So again, uh, we, we are dealing with all of ideas how to uh, combine uh, techniques, technology transfer, knowledge, and thinking about every point, which is what is the uh, perspective and what is critic uh, in these in this direction. Uh, and uh, hopefully one day we will start. We will have very very unique region and very unique rules for everybody. So uh, it's 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 a it's a it's a hard way to to get unique. Uh, platform for of the, uh, let's say of the bureaucratic rules in in Europe applying stuff of course we if you're going just for services and business it's it's very easy uh, but if you want to go for unique uh, structural platforms development uh, to, which is profit for whole Europe it's it's getting a little bit complicated that's why we need different visions and different uh, different views for different countries, mentalities, and how they are thinking and to, 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 to combine all of these and to understand the, 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 the problems there. So it's, it's involving somehow not only scientific knowledge, but very, very much uh, knowledge of, of law, knowledge of, 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 of all of these development, which is needed for some uh, properties, intellectual properties, NDAs for the projects. Um, the next partner is Slovenia, uh, very, very um, close to us now here, one, one hour to Ljubljana, which is um, uh, participating with NMR Center in Ljubljana. And again, here is an idea of that NMR, as we have many users that com combines NMR with SACS and SANS, the techniques that I showed you before. Uh, sucks with X-ray and suns with neutrons, especially if you if you do some uh, biological. I'm talking about but more about biological examples because my background is in this direction, but uh, of course all 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 regions you can use there. Uh, so um, and this is an example what you can combine very well, studying proteins, uh, some uh, molecular mechanisms. Okay, molecular mechanisms also for for for. Uh, medication combining all of these methods. I have to uh, go a little bit faster. Here is the Croatia, so uh, participating uh, with Ruger Boschkovic in Zagreb, so Yom Beam Analyzer, also one uh, nice methodology which can be combined with different uh, methodologies that I showed you before. Uh, then we have uh, general about industrial liaison technology transfer possibilities. Uh, what we think about general efforts, so to do it in the consortia, to have a uh, unique structure, um, always is communication very, very important, uh, information gathering, uh, sharing information, uh, business development ideas, uh, uh, searching for partners, seeing the strength and weakness of the partners, intellectual properties, uh, properties licensing that we already told you before, uh, very, very different in different countries because of different laws. Also, Europe is coming with new uh, rigorous uh, laws for, for different fields, especially in nanoanalytics, quality, quality control of pharmaceutics, food, uh, everything, everything is getting very, very strict or more stricter. Uh, so development could go there in this direction and everybody wants to protect our knowledge and our product. That's why it's a high topic for, for uh, different countries. General negotiation of projects and project management. Project management. We are participating in fundings uh, with uh, partners from the countries in the consortia, but also, also with external partners. Uh, this is one of the scopes and topics. Also for technology transfer inside, we also um, are active in this direction, uh, participating, in, or we won one project in this direction, uh, which can help to build a homogeneous platform. Uh, at least in the countries of consortium and then to think furthermore. Uh, and, uh, of course, technology commercialization. Here is uh, just a short uh, slide about thinking how we deal with all of these, um, let's say, industrial or scientific users that we uh, need or we, we, we have in the consortia. Do we uh, make one uh, point of access for all or do we make multiple multiple point of access, so how we deal with uh, uh, units 
in the in the countries of consortium do we uh, coordinate them from one place or coordination will be a uh, single single case uh, this is uh, for example one of the aims how to coordinate and develop uh, the structure um, here is maybe not nice for the eyes <laughs> but I like it uh, <laughs> I love this slide I'm sorry <laughs> uh, everything what I told you before and what we discussed uh, what we heard uh, also for other presentations it's somehow uh, everything is connected uh, so we start from basic science uh, we go from ideas we turn back from the, the funding we go for 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 uh, investment area uh, industrial innovation and everything is somehow connected to come to the good result in this direction of, of technology transfer um, I would like to conclude now all all of these thoughts and then and, and discussion and points uh, how we uh, we can we can think about or take take this message with us uh, so uh, without the pl without research it's nothing happening but it's very very clear what was the message from the beginning research has to change also somehow so we need more applications we need more applied research to think in this direction what we really need for the market and not just to have scientists that they are thinking they have to publish in the cell or nature uh, because it's very uh, funny but uh, we ask us what is the application of it so um, then we have to uh, work on the technology transfer um, uh, so which is the bridge between laboratory and marketplace and this way is very has to be very let's say flexible from case to case but somehow unique uh, and to be more um, more made more in a simple way because it seems to be very complicated not because of uh, science uh, research and marketplace and technology transfer but because of bureaucracy which is uh, for my opinion very 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 hard step uh, if you deal with different countries and different laws uh, okay, then we patents protection of new te for new technologies. Patents is always an issue. Uh, they are national, international pat patents. Um, of course, it's nice to have a patent, but you have to think: Do I protect my product with this? Do I make really uh, business development, or it's just a reference? So it's a little bit politic behind. Some people have patents for having just a reference. But uh, we would like to support patents that they are really protecting products that you can present it in the market. Okay, then of, of course, so every development should lead to new technologies uh, and lead to commercial application, and that's why we need to make licensing for it. So any support uh, in this direction to uh, put this in the market for for having real use of one knowledge from a laboratory uh, then as i told you before so building one portfolio of companies around new technologies so network in the industry it's very important so it's not only let's say written uh, rule but it's also communication rule to have partners to recognize the potentiality of partners and what could be done uh, without companies is no applied research without applied research is no industry so we have to connect them all in one field and um, in the end we are a consortia that we are use uh, we are dealing with user or users uh, scientific users um, and in this case we are thinking about uh, industrial users because this is also somehow user in our eyes uh, about the slide that i showed you before how we deal uh, what's the best way to deal with single points in the countries or to have one uh, central point to coordinate all of them together? And yeah, I would like to thank you for your attention. <laughs>